Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about performing error detection using the checksum technique. So what exactly is a checksum? A checksum is one of the error detection techniques and it can be used to find out whether the code or the data that is being transmitted has some error or not. It will not be able to correct any kind of error but it will be only able to perform detection of an error whether some changes have occurred during the transmission from the sender or to the receiver. Okay, so how to calculate the checksum? To calculate this checksum, let us first see all the steps and then we will see an example for calculating the checksum. So to compute the checksum, you have to divide the given data into k parts such that each part is of m bits. Okay, so each part has m bits. So in case the data cannot be divided into k equal sized parts, then you divide k minus 1 uh, parts of equal sizes and then the last one would have less than m bits. Then the second step, once you have divided the original data into k different parts, each having m bits, then you add all these parts, all the k parts using once complement arithmetic. Okay, so you use once complement arithmetic to add all the k parts of the data. And once you have obtained the sum, then you complement the sum. Complement means changing the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros and the complemented value or the complemented sum that you have obtained is actually known as the checksum. So once you have added all the k parts and you have complemented the sum you will get the checksum and these three steps are performed at the sender side. So the sender will perform these steps before transmitting the data along with the checksum to the receiver. So what does the sender do? It not only transmits the entire original data but also transmits the checksum along with this data and sends it to the receiver. Now what the receiver will do? The receiver will do the last three steps. At the receiving side when all the parts are received that means the k parts belonging to the original data and one part referring to the checksum, then the receiver will add all these parts of the original data along with the checksum. And once this added sum is obtained, then the obtained sum is complemented. So in this scenario, on the receiver side, when we are complementing, we are not only complementing the addition of k parts but also along with that we are adding the checksum and then complementing the obtained sum. Now if the obtained sum has a value of 0 that means no error exists in the data or the data has been correctly transmitted. Otherwise if the complemented sum is not 0 that means you have not obtained all zeros after complementing that means that error has been detected. So some changes have occurred during the transmission. What changes have occurred and how to correct them? This is beyond the scope of checksum error detection technique. Now let us take an example and understand how to actually calculate a checksum. So this is an example where this value is the original data that I was talking about. So original data consists of a large number of bits. Now in this case we are dividing these bits into k different parts of m size each. Here let us keep the value of m as 8. So if the size of each part is 8 then how many parts will we have? Let us see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This will be the first part of the data then again the next 8 bits that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The next 8 bits would comprise 
the second part of the data following this would be the third part and this would be the last part okay so one two three four five six seven eight so this would be the third part and starting from this would we have the fourth part so the value of k is four here because dividing the entire data into eight bit groups will give us four different parts so now the first step was division the second step was adding all these four parts with each other using one's complement arithmetic so in one one's complement arithmetic when after addition you get a carry you add that carry to the sum say this was part 1 right this was this part and the second part was this so part 1 and this is part 2 of the original data so we will add both these values using one's complement arithmetic so one's complement says 1 plus 0 will give us 1 Zero plus one will give us one. Zero and zero gives zero. One and zero gives one. One and zero again gives one. Zero and one gives one. Zero and one again gives one. And one plus one, which is equal to two, will give us a binary representation of one zero. So the least significant bit will be written here, and one is the carry. now since it is one's complement arithmetic we will add this carry to the sum that we have obtained now after adding the carry the sum would be 1 plus 1 would again give us 1 0 where 0 would be written here 1 would be the carry 1 plus 1 again gives us 1 0 1 is the most significant bit 0 is the least significant bit we write the most significant bit here so here 1 plus 0 gives us 1 then all the digits would be written as it is because nothing is getting added in them now we add the third part to this obtained sum this is the third part of the original data so after doing the addition we get 0 and 0 gives you 0 0 0 gives you 0 again 1 plus 1 gives you 1 0 so you write a zero you carry a one 1 plus 1 again gives you 1 0 1 plus 1 again gives you 1 0 then you write 1 plus 1 plus 1 that gives you double one so here you get a one and here you get a one in this case 1 plus 1 would again give you a zero and 1 0 0 would give you a one so the value that you obtain is 1 0 1 with all the remaining zeros now in this case you do not have any additional carry so no further addition would take place rather you would now add the remaining the fourth part to the obtained sum so you would again do this using one's complement arithmetic so now when you do the addition 0 plus 0 gives you 0 0 0 gives you 0 then you get a 1 0 0 then you get a 1 then you get a 0 and 1 plus 1 gives you a 1 with a carry of 1 now this one would be added to this sum and the final value that we get would be 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 now what was the next step the next step was to complement this so when we complement this sum this is the sum that we have obtained now we will complement it that means we will reverse the ones and the zeros so the complemented value which will be our check sum will be 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 zero. 0 okay so this is the value that we obtain okay so please correct this one this would be 1 plus 1 would give you a zero here so i'm really sorry 1 plus 1 would give you a zero with a carry of 1 and this carry would be added so here the value that we get is 001 00101 and the complement would be 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
double one zero one zero, and this is what forms the checksum. Okay. Now the next step was the sender will send this entire data along with this checksum to the receiver side, and the receiver will also perform all these steps. That means the receiver side will also in the first step add part one and part two. So the first part of this data was one double zero double one zero zero one, and the second part was triple one triple zero one zero. So these values would be added again at the receiver end using one's complement arithmetic. So let's perform the addition. One zero gives you one. Zero one gives you one. Then zero zero gives you zero. Then one. Then one. 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 And here you will get the value as zero with a carry of one. Now in this case you will again add this carry to the sum that you have obtained here. So one plus one gives you zero. One plus one again gives you zero. One and zero gives you one. Then one, 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 one and zero. Now you add to this value. The third part of the original data that was sent by the sender. So once you add these, you will get the value zero and zero gives you zero, zero zero again zero, one plus one gives you zero, and one with a carry to the next place. Then double one again gives you a zero with a carry. Then double one will give you a zero with a carry. Then triple one would give you a one with a carry. Double one would give you a zero with a carry, and one zero zero would give you one. See how we are getting it. If you are adding two ones, the total is two, which is represented as one zero in binary. And if we are adding three ones, then the total is three, which is represented as one and one in binary. So we retain. The least significant bit and make the most significant bit as the carry. Okay, now we'll add the fourth part of the original data that is received by the receiver, which is this part: one, four zeros, then one double zero. And when you add it, you get the result: zero zero gives you zero, zero zero again gives you zero. Then you get a one. Then zero zero will give you zero, zero zero zero. One and zero will give you one. Zero zero will give you one. One and one will give you a zero with a carry of one. This will also be added when you add one here. Then you get the value one zero one zero zero one zero and zero. Now the next step is to complement this sum and add the check sum along with it. So. Adding the check sum along with this value, this is the sum that we have obtained. We will add the check sum. The value of the check sum was double one zero double one zero one zero. Now use one's complement arithmetic to perform this addition. Now when we perform this addition, we get one plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. Again one. And we will get in this case all ones at all the places. Now this is the check sum that we have added, right? And we need to complement it. So when we complement all ones, we will get all zeros. So eight zeros is what we will get. And since we have seen that all zeros means no error has occurred, so the check sum has detected. That this transmission of this original data word was without errors. So checksum is a way of finding whether an error has occurred or not. So that's all for today's video. If you understood the video, please let us know in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such tutorials. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.